It's Christmas Day, and it's the 25th day of the advent of compiler optimizations. And today is going to be a bit different from all of the other days because I'm not actually going to talk about compilers or anything. I don't even have Compiler Explorer open on my computer. You might be able to tell from the way that I'm dressed and my longer hair that this is a very different time from when I recorded all of those videos. So I recorded all the videos during November before I started a new job, and then I've been furiously editing them as best I can. So a lot of the content has not been able to be changed in respect of the comments that I've received. And I've been so delighted to receive so many comments that are uh, interested in this field and have um, really challenged me to think about how compilers actually work. So I appreciate everything. I'm just sorry that the content hasn't adjusted for either the loudness of the music in the background or um, any of the other things that have been said. Today is the first time uh, I'm recording this uh, on the, the shortest day, so 21st. So um, I'm giving myself a little bit of time off, thankfully, after this to recover. But um, yeah, I've been really, really thrilled with the reception. And I'm so excited that everyone else seems to be pleased with what compilers can do. I mean, they're just amazing. So today, whatever you celebrate on the 25th, even if it's nothing at all, um, I wish you a very happy day. Uh, I am certainly going to be relaxing with my family today. While I'm here, I'd like to sort of say some big thanks to uh, people. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of the folks who work on Compiler Explorer. Uh, although it bears my name, although you won't hear me using my name as part of the name of it, but Compiler Explorer is a huge team effort and there are a number of folks who are invaluable to running the site. A uh, special shout out to Partouf, Patrick Quist, who runs and merges so many PRs, but there are a load of people who are uh, hiding in the background behind um, trying to make everything just work all of the time. So if you go to the site and it's working, it's because of the hard work of those folks. So thank you so much for, for, for your work, everybody. Secondly, I'd like to thank Malcolm Rowe, who has tirelessly worked on making sure that the content makes sense, that the blog posts are all put together nicely, and that critically, all of the captions are as best they can be. I'm using various AI captioning, and then Malcolm goes in and fixes it all up. So if you're reading captions along the bottom of the screen right now, you can thank Malcolm for that. I'd also like to thank Jason Turner for being such a great proponent of Compiler Explorer, for giving me some great ideas for uh, some of the optimizations that compilers do, and for being a great friend. I'd like to thank Laurie Kirk for giving me some help in how to set yourself up to do video editing and recording, and for some awesome advice about things to pay attention to and things to not worry about so much. So thanks, Laurie. Thanks to Sean Riley, who uh, is the editor of the Computer File channel. He gave me a crash course in how to edit videos, and it was incredibly useful and valuable, so thanks. And if you're not already looking at uh, computer file videos, you should ought to go and find them. I will try and remember to put a link in the description below. Thanks to Colin Hode, who did an advent for BBC Micro Games, which kind of inspired this whole idea in my head. So uh, Colin, thank you very much for giving me the idea and, um, and also for your own uh, misadventures in uh, advents this year have been hilarious to watch, so thank you. Penultimately, I nearly said lastly, but it's penultimately I'd like to thank all of the folks who work on compilers. The Compiler Explorer is nothing without the compilers that it shows. And the enormous amount of work and effort that goes into making those compilers excellent and the, the, the level of complexity that's in there is only there because of the hard, hard work of all these people who behind the scenes are working on GCC, on Clang, on all of the other compilers, Microsoft's compilers, uh, other languages. I know I didn't really talk much about other languages, but like everyone is resting on their shoulders. The reason that we can we can write code with that looks so nice and is so um, human friendly and yet still performant is because of the very hard work that these compiler authors do. So thank you to all compiler authors and for those folks who work behind the scenes to make it possible for them to do their jobs well too. So. Thank you. If this is, if nothing else, this whole series has been a little love letter to compiler writers. So, thank you. And then, last but absolutely not least, thanks to my family and, in particular, my wife for putting up with me during the last sort of four weeks while I've been writing blog posts, recording videos, editing videos every night, releasing videos, dealing with social comments, social media comments, and and generally being very absent. And I'm sure she's uh, delighted that I have now finished and that. Uh, 
this period of my life is over and I can get back to just being a normal husband and dad and um, and w- worker. Now, I've got to suppose I, sh- I should pay attention to the job that I, <laughs> I-, I have started. So um, that is now forefront in my mind. And I wish you once again a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate. And if not, a very happy new year. And maybe there'll be another series like this. I don't know. Right now, I can't imagine doing it. It's such a huge amount of work, but I have enjoyed it immensely. I hope you have too. Take care.